Welcome everyone. I hope you are all having a fantastic day today. My name is Rocket, and if you've looked at my channel, you've probably noticed that this is actually my first YouTube video ever. I'm still pretty new to the YouTube scene, so uh, please excuse me for any cringy moments along the way. I'm still learning myself. Today I will be playing the game Creatures of Aether. Uh, this game is still pretty new. I'm actually still pretty new to this game as well. I believe it launched in like around September last year. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I think this game is actually pretty underrated. I've been playing it for like a week now, and I just, I, I, just, I instantly got the hang of it, bro. It's just, it's just a really fun game. So yeah, I strongly recommend to uh, the people who are watching this that don't play it or like just wanna, just interested in the game, that they definitely give it a try because you can always uh, uninstall it because it's a free game. So yeah, definitely recommend it. Uh, anyways, I think that's enough of an introduction for me. Uh, let's get straight to the point here, right? So, I'm actually just starting this series. Uh, it's basically just going to be me climbing the ladder in this game. I will be doing it completely free to play. Uh, the series is going to be like a let's climb, let's play, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I'm also going to try and make it a little bit educational, you know, for like the newer players. So, like, uh, I'll go over like the abilities of the cards when I get, when I get to them. And... Um, yeah, I'll just, when I'm playing the games, I'll run you guys through my thought process and all that stuff. But again, I am still pretty new myself, so who knows, I'll probably be making a lot of mistakes myself. So feel free in the comment section down below to always uh, give me some tips on what you saw. So with that out of the way, there's one more thing I have to do before I can actually hop into the action here and start climbing. As you can see, I can't push the play button right now, and that's simply because I don't have a deck yet. Uh, I've done the tutorial and I've got some basic, I got some cards from it, so I'm gonna have to build a deck with what I can right now. Um, the rival, aka the legendary or highest class card in the game, the one I chose in the in the beginning is Absa. Uh, I know Absa is not the easiest rival of the four, uh, like the four starter ones, but she's challenging. And if you know me, and you'll get to know me, don't worry. Uh, I do like a good challenge, so that's the reason I chose Absa. Uh, Absa's ability, it basically, it's just a chain reaction of flipping cards, basically. Uh, so basically it says, triggers a shot combo when Absa is placed next to a card with a power equal to hers on that side. I'm not going to uh, go too deep on, on that ability. It'll, it'll get clear when we start playing, don't worry. And, and because I don't have the other rivals just yet, I'm not going to go over their abilities right now. But if you are interested in um, the other abilities, uh, the other rival abilities, uh, I definitely recommend you go check out S underscore Rez's channel. I believe he's made a guide on all the rival's abilities. So yeah, definitely go and check him out. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. So I am quickly going to make a deck. As you can see, I don't really have that much. So I'm just going to have to make the best of it. I'm going to use you because you have three pretty powerful sides, I'd say. He has one very weak side, so we're probably going to try and focus on playing him on the right side of the board mostly. Then I'll probably take you. Yeah, sorry, I don't know all the card names, so probably just going to say you, you, and you. But so I'm thinking here between these two. Um, we have 8432 and we have 8522. Two. The reason I'm leaning more towards this guy is because this other guy <laughs> has a pretty weak right side, but it is already kind of compensated by the nine over here. So I might actually just take a choice tree, sorry, tree ceratops here. Uh, yeah. So. Um, for my last four cards, as you can see, I'm already at 13 out of 20 for my deck. Uh, the 13 just corresponds to like the total of these uh, red numbers here. So I only have seven more space, and I have four cards, so I can't, I can't go too high, right? So what I'm thinking, right? As you can see, I have two cards that have abilities. You can see that they have an ability in the top right corner. There's like a little icon here. I'm actually going to use them, and I'm actually going to explain what the abilities are as well. So. This guy's ability is power up. You can just see it by the two arrows pointing up. Basically, it's 
the card gets a plus one for each water type creature and water type tile in a three by three area around it. This is pretty, this card is pretty reliant on water types. You will usually see this kind of, um, this kind of ability in a, like a mono water type deck. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to use two very weak water type cards because I think they'll have a decent synergy with him for now because, you know, I don't really have that many good cards. And I still have two space left, so I'm probably going to use a two power, two, two cost card here. And I think for now, I'm just seeing, I have pretty strong up, so I'm probably just going to take this guy, again, I don't know his name, but he also has a pretty cool ability. It's called Defender, and it's basically, when you play this guy, all the cards at that moment that are in your possession will get a plus one on each side, right? Including this guy. And the reason I'll probably change him out later is because he has two pretty weak sides, and there are better options for defenders in the future when we get those cards. So, yeah, this is the deck I'll be using for now. So, I think it's time that we start hopping into the action, shall we? So, the first arena, the training arena, and the second arena is called Training 2. I believe they're both uh, all against bots, so probably going to have a fairly easy time. I don't want to jinx anything, so I'm probably just going to shut up here, to be honest. But, so basically you can see I have zero medals right now. You can see that here. You can see that here. When I get to 250, that's when I'm going to go to the next arena. So I say, let's hot, let's click play here. As you can see, there's no waiting time because it's indeed against bots, I believe. Yeah, against Lil Timmy. So yeah, all the battles are going to be against Lil Timmy. And uh, yeah, so let's do this. I believe you also always go first against bots. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So you can see the person that goes first also gets the extra point. Uh, that will probably come in handy in the end game. Who knows? Maybe not. So what I am going to do here, what I like to do here is, because I can go first, as I told you, these, actually, have I told you this? I'm not sure, but fodder cards or the low cost cards aren't really meant to be used to like capture cards in endgame. I'm actually going to place this guy right here on the minus three. The AI will probably try and capture him like so. There we go. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to use my other low cost card here and I'm actually going to recapture him. And as you can see, this guy is actually trapped in now. So he, the opponent can't retake this card. So this is basically a, 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 a free point to call it. Um, then again, in the future, there are abilities that can negate this. So don't take my word for it right now. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do right now, I'm going to show off this guy's ability right here. So this guy. If I put him here, he's going to get plus three on each side. That's what the elemental tile does. And because there are one, two, three other water types in his three by three area, he's actually going to get another plus three, meaning he's going to have plus six basically on each side. If I were to play him here, then this would be the three by three arena and he'd only get plus one, plus two. But now if I do this, Oh, he's going to be a fat boy. He's going to get another plus three here. And now he's all of a sudden 7788. Eight, and he's a pretty big threat here. So what the AI does here is pretty good. He kind of locks in this card. So I can't retake it. But, you know, it'd be like that. What I'm always trying to look for is the Absa ability here. So basically, to trigger the reaction, the bottom number, just for an example, has to be the same as the top number, or the right number has to be the same as the left number. So I'm always going to try and look out for that, but then again, I can't do that right now. So I'm just going to focus on... The reason I don't want to take this guy is because if I take him, there's a maybe a chance that he can retake and he'll just lock that card in. So I'm going to play pretty safe there for now. Uh, what I am going to do is I am actually going to pray to... Uh, this is probably not the best move I can make here. But I'm going to pray to the Lords that he doesn't have a card that's 13 or higher on the right side. So, actually, do I want to do that? You know, mm, mm, I don't know, man. It's kind of hard. I'm, I'm telling you, guys, I'm, I'm still pretty new to this game as well. So, please, uh, bear with me here, okay? I'm going to do this. 
don't ask me why. It's uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of clueless here. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Hey, you take that. That's fine. So there's, I don't have a card that can like take both these at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to place this guy here for now. I, I don't think, I don't think he's going to have a card strong enough to take it right now. So he retakes, you know, this is against AI and I don't want to bore you guys that much. So I'm probably just going to go pretty speed mode here. This, get two cards here. He can probably retake that, but I don't, oh, this is Orkane's ability. Oh, that's actually really well played. So Orkin's ability basically, because the one on this side is greater on this side, he, his ability can like reach over and take that card. So that's actually pretty well played from the from the AI actually. It's weird to say that the AI played well, but uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna at this point I'm just taking as much cards as I can here. He takes. Um, so I didn't get to show you Abs's ability in this game, but. I guess that will come later. So I won the game against the AI. Yay. Uh, it's w way closer than, <laughs> than it should have been. But um, yeah, so you see, when you win, you get a pretty decent amount of medals. So that's pretty cool. So I already got 75 in of the 250. And uh, I'll probably get into uh, Training Arena 2 and then I'll call it a video. Because I think this video is already getting pretty lengthy. So let's just hop into the next one straight away. I'm not really going to reconsider changing my deck right now because, uh, you know, it's just a little time waste in my opinion right now. But if you guys have any uh, suggestions on what I can change in my deck right now, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to play you here. He's probably going to take it. Yep. I have minus one. I'm going to play this guy here anyway because he's going to get to zero, but zero is still higher than minus one. So I'll take that. He's probably going to retake here or here. Yep. And then I... We're playing against Zet. Okay. Yeah, when you guys are playing, by the way, always keep in mind what rival you're playing against because sometimes the ability of that rival can dictate the, the game or dictate the pace of the game. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind. Um, what can I do here? I'm probably just gonna try and take this guy here. I am... I'm going to do this knowing that I can take this guy back either way. Because I can use him to go here if he takes it up here, which he probably will. And as, that's, that's a defender ability, by the way. I don't know if I showed it last game. But see, so all my cards got a plus one on each side there. So he did that. I am going to play not that, wait, can I, if I do this, right, so I do this, he's going to get a plus one, he's going to get a plus two, a plus three, and a plus four, so he's going to be on six, so I can, yeah, I think this is a fairly decent play right now, like he'll lock this in, but to be honest, I don't really care that much, no, he doesn't actually, okay, he just goes straight for the take, uh, can I, at, at this point, like right now, I'm just focusing, taking as many cards as possible, so I am going to just, I'm just going to do this for now. Just take as many cards as possible. This guy's locked in, so that's pretty cool. You do that. Fair enough. I'm just trying to see if there's any opportunity for me to take this back. Let's do this here. Yeah, that's Seth's ability there. I'm just gonna do this here. So yeah, I'm just doing this pretty fast right now. There we go. So that's uh, yeah. So that's that. I'm to be honest, I'm gonna go, I'm probably gonna go fairly quickly over these games now because. I've already explained quite a lot, so, yeah. So, 
So yeah, let's hop straight into the next one, shall we? Little Timmy. Here we go. So this is Rastor. He's one of the other seven rivals. I will go first here. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of this. He takes. I will retake. So this is Rastor's ability. He can like summon a tornado. He can move any card via an open space. And he can play his own card. He can play another card. Um, he didn't actually retake it. So that's interesting. Um, what I will do here is I will... He didn't retake. I'm still looking for an opportunity to show off Abs' ability here. Hopefully I can do it this game. I will... I'll just lock this guy in here. Takes... Like, I'm just trying to get these games over pretty fast, I'm not gonna lie, because I can... I can understand if these games are pretty boring. Uh, can I get Abs' ability here? No, not really. Can I? No. I'll just do this. Again, you can see plus one, two, three, four in that three by three area here. He'll take... I don't really mind that too much. Actually, I kind of do, because... Actually, no, I don't. Mm, do I? Kind of do, though. Unlucky. I will just not do that. So if I, if I put this guy here, and I take this guy, he'll 100% be able to just, just recapture that. So I'm not going to do that. I will just... I'll just do this. This is probably not the best play, but... Mm. I'm gonna play this guy here. I'll take. He'll probably retake, but I can 100% retake that card, so I'm not too worried about that. He takes. Oops. I'll take this guy here. And then he will probably not take it, but... Yeah, there we go. Okay, that is third battle done. Another 75 medals. As you can see, we're almost at a trainer arena two. All right. Yes, sir. Let's do the last one here. Well, hopefully it's the last one. Unless I screw something up, but I'm going to try my best not to do that. Little Simi. Sylvanos, another rival. Uh, his ability is kind of complicated, so I'm probably, I'll probably explain it a bit if he, if he uses it. It's kind of complicated to uh, explain. I will just do the same as last time. I will just place him here, get rid of that plus three. He takes. I will take you. Thank you very much. Here he takes. All good, all good. I will... I'll put this guy... I'm just, I'm just gonna hope at this point that he doesn't have something high enough to take this. I don't... I don't oh, wait, does he? No, he doesn't. Lol. Um, that was pretty weird, because I can just lock this guy in right here. I can just use this guy, I guess. Because why not? Get the plus one boost, but I guess it's not really that, uh, that useful right now. He takes back... I did not think this through that well. Oops. I will. Damn, guys, I still can't use Abs' ability. I can't show it off. Um. In that case, I'll just place her here then. Take it. I dare you. Okay. Interesting. I will. I place this guy, let me think, right? If I place him here, I can take that guy, I can take that guy. Eh, why not? 
Don't use Sealed Nose. Oh, he used Sealed Nose here. Okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, God. Did that just lose me the game? That might have just lost me the game here. Damn, that is messed up. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um. Well, that didn't go as planned. So yeah, that's Sylvan his ability. Uh, <laughs> so basically, he pastes Sylvan on a blue tile. He actually consumes the tile. He doesn't get the boost, but what happens is he'll spread plus one tiles of that same element over the board, and he will capture every creature on the field of that same element type, in this case water, that has just at least one number that's lower than his. So this guy's going to get captured because he has two, this guy definitely, because they're all so weak. That's pretty annoying. I'll just capture Silvanos. I mean, I know I'm probably not going to be able to recapture this guy, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Wow, actually, <laughs> I lost. That's unfortunate, dude. Well, I guess we'll just go again. Unlucky. Unlucky. It happens. It happens. Okay. Get me the hell out of here. Yeah, see, as you can see, when you lose, you actually don't lose medals. And you actually don't lose medals up until we're masters. Like, up in, I think it's like 9,250 trophies. Or medals, sorry. Uh, yeah, like, after you surpass 9,250 medals, that's when you start losing medals when you lose a match. So, it's really not that big of a pressure. There's also a reason why this game is also really fun for people that aren't super competitive. Uh, okay. Let's try this again. It's Orcan this time, so... He immediately uses Orcan. Okay, interesting. Uh, can I... Nope. Damn, I just want to show off Abs' ability to you guys. Might not be for this episode, guys. Hope you don't mind. Not gonna do that. Let's do this. He'll get, like, what? Plus four? Plus three? Plus three? Okay. I'm not too worried about it because I. Actually, never mind. Forget what I said here. I'm actually going to try and not take this right now because he can maybe then take it. And I know something small like he can capture El Buhu, but you know, just play, play slow. Because against the AI, there's actually no time limit, so I can I have time to think here. But once we start facing real people, uh, you only have 30 seconds to make a move, so. Yeah, that's something I'll definitely have to work on in the future, because that is, right now, one of my weaker points. But I'll work on that, no worries. Oh, I actually, oh wow, I fucked up there. See, I didn't do the math correctly, that's my bad. Can I show off your ability? I cannot. Sick. Um, I'll just... Hmm. Hold on, I, I, no, I, I want to try this. I, wanna, I think I can pull up Abs' ability here. If he takes this guy, he does. Actually, no, I still can't show it off, can I? Oh, God damn it! So basically, if I put Abs here, the three on the left side here is going to get a two. That's going to be the same as this guy. What that's going to do, it's going to start the chain reaction. Basically, Abs is going to start a chain reaction every side she can capture in this case she'll capture this guy and the chain will actually continue through here because his two is bigger than the one and then the chain will stop there because there's no more cards for me to take there but i'll just i'll do it to show you guys to look so she'll get that right and then she'll get the chain this guy is lower oh oh okay never mind <laughs> See, that just shows that I'm still new to the game as well, guys. So, but I think it's the chain reaction starts the side that is like the match. So, if that's a thing, please let me know in the comments. I am here to learn as well. Uh, I'm just gonna play this guy here. I don't think he's gonna be able to take that. Let's wrap this up, shall we? Yeah, nice play, bro. Um, can I can I do something here? I'll take you guys. Thank you very much. You take. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'll just play this guy here. That's a free card right there. And then you play that, and you lose. Nice. Okay, so that's that. 
and I believe, just like so, we have reached Training Arena 2, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I know I really haven't done that much games today, but, you know, that's because of, like, the deck building part. So in the next episode, I'll definitely do more battles. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video, though. Uh, I'll definitely be reading the comments for any tips or deck su uh, suggestions, so don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. Uh, while you're at it, maybe you could hit that thumbs up button for me as well. That would really mean a lot to me. I hope you all have a fantastic day further though, and I will see you guys in the next one.